Okay, so this is uh, going to be my attempt to uh, get us going here a bit, just configuring the UI so that we're able to visualize the data that we're actually going to be extrapolating information from. Uh, and in order to do that, you have to be able to make sense of what you're seeing. So uh, we're going to go to File. We're going to open our log file. Um, over here, you'll have to navigate to wherever you stored the uh, demo uh, telemetry that I posted, because that's what we're going to work with for now. And to open that. Now, this whole thing here is the end goal of our UI creation, uh, is, is to make this. This is basic basic values that are very helpful in figuring out what's going on while you're actually lapping. So we're going to go up to here where you see driver brake and all this stuff. I'm going to make a new worksheet. I'm just going to go like that. So you're going to have this blank space. Now go up to your layout window, make sure lock layout is not checked. Now in this blank space we can add whatever we want. We'll start with the time distance graph. So add a group and then we add a channel. Now there are, a, a channel is just category or whatever for the data uh, data set that's being drawn upon from the uh, telemetry file. So let's just add RPM. This is, you're going to notice often duplicate things. Sometimes they're the same. Sometimes they're not. When in doubt, add both. So you can see it actually added a second group. Add a third group and put in throttle. These are both the same. Throttle. Okay. Boom. All of a sudden we have a graph. Um, now since RPM and engine RPM are the same, you can see this one has about a bazillion uh, decimal places. We don't care. Let's get rid of that. Now up here, uh, let's go to channel properties. Here we can set the color of a channel, we can set the units, uh, leave all this stuff alone, don't bother with it. Now one cool thing we can do now is actually go over to this little window over here. You can just drag data or drag these channel values um, into the different groups you make. So I suggest you know, adding a couple groups. You can add groups like that, move them down, um, etc. And then you get more and more categories. So when you're making your graph, this is what you want to duplicate in the interest of everyone being on the same page. Just uh, go ahead and duplicate this. Group 1 is going to be your engine RPM, speed, throttle. Make sure it's core speed. Uh, you want your pitch, yaw rate, g-force, then these two guys. Um, so I don't know, take a screenshot of that, or whatever, and eventually you'll, it'll, you'll have a graph that looks exactly like this. So I'm actually going to cheat a little bit here. So we have our graph. Now what you can do, this is really great software for working with UI. So just smush this up a bit. Go down here in your blank space. And here's where we can add our gauges. 
Now again, you're going to have your channels to pick from. So let's pick, um, I don't know, right, front, speed. Now you can leave it on auto scale. However, if you're going to be using two of these next to each other, which we are, right front, left front, I suggest you manually set your maximum. And then we're going to do another one of these. Uh, you can also just copy and paste then go to properties and uh, do it that way. It's a little bit quicker if you have to make a bunch of the same kind of graph. Left front speed. And it'll automatically do your max and min if you copy it and paste it. Okay. So, that's how you make uh, bars. As you'll see, they're both at 200 so that we can compare these one to one. Uh, you can do all sorts of cool stuff, shrink them around, etc. And then that's pretty much how you do everything here. Uh, I suggest just making a bunch of stuff and figuring it out. Um, there are a lot of options, some of it you don't want to screw with, some of it you do. Um, but definitely start out with this graph here. Um, and, and just emulate this. So real quick, I'm just going to run through these settings that I use on each one of my displays. I'm just going to tab through. And you can just pause it and let it match. Yeah, this is not not very exciting, but will be helpful. I would sing a jolly tune or something, but frankly, I'm not in the mood. You guys can put on some music while you do this. Now, I'm only going to show one of these for each side because right, right, and left. Uh, sorry, R R speed and L R speed are the same. Over here. The only difference is that the origin is set to maximum. I do this so that when I'm visually just looking at this, I know that the ones going up from this way are my rears and the ones this way are coming down to the fronts. Just helps me if you prefer it differently, go ahead. It's my throttle display. More stuff. No color bending there. And you'll notice that I am using auto scale on most of these things, uh, except really for the bar graphs of the tire speed because we need to be able to directly compare those. Uh, with the G-Force, one thing to note, definitely want it at the median. Yeah, Alright, this is a fantastic value to be able to look at. Uh, this one... Not super sure how I feel about... Uh, the auto scaling on that, but I'll just leave it alone for now. Alright, then over here, if this box is not checked, click that to show your track map properties. Check all three of these boxes. Um, you can edit your colors if you want. I don't bother. 
You definitely want your cursor to be a decent size though because that's going to let you grab it easily and move it around as we go through. Okay, so that's that's a briefing on the UI. Um, let me know if that's enough to get you guys to this point or if you need more. Um, and hopefully I'll get a little better at doing these as I go along. And I promise that eventually we will be able to take all this all this data and turn it into going faster. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, peace out.